Welcome to Westworld Paintball Adventures. There are three very important things that you need to pay close attention to while watching this orientation. Goggles, barrel sleeves, and truce. If you have any questions, any of our friendly staff will be more than willing to help you out and answer any questions. Thanks for choosing Westworld Adventures, and remember, have a great time. Approved paintball goggles must be worn at all times upon entering the field and at the shooting range. There is a short trail to fields 1 and 2. Once through the netted gate, it's goggles on. If you see a ref doing this, that means put your goggles on your face. If you remove your goggles, lift them up, or take them off while on the field, you are out. You sit out the next game, and you have to watch this orientation again. Lift or remove your goggles a second time, and you are done for the day. Westworld rental markers do not need to be chronographed. Personal markers must be chronographed every game. Custom markers are subject to spot chrono checks on and off the field. A percentage of all personal markers will be checked while playing. Cooperation is mandatory. If your gun is over the speed limit, you are out that game plus the next one. Max chrono speed is 280 feet per second. Always put your barrel cover on when eliminated and keep your barrel cover on while in the safe zones. If you see a ref doing this, put your barrel cover on your barrel. Do not discharge your marker in any safe zone. You may discharge your marker only at the target range or on the field during play. No blind firing. If you can't see your target, don't shoot. Violations of the barrel cover or blind fire rules will result in a one-game suspension. If you or your marker is hit by a paintball and it breaks, you're out. If the paintball breaks on something else and sprays you, you are not out unless you call yourself out. However, if the area of concentrated spray is larger than a quarter, you are out. Friendly fire counts. If you shoot yourself, you're out. Headshots count, but only should be taken as a matter of last resort. If two players simultaneously mark each other and it is too close to call who was hit first, both players are out. Multiple hits do happen in play and while exiting the field. If you can't handle being hit more than once, don't play. There is no surrender rule on this field. If a player calls for you to surrender, you may mark them with your marker or call yourself out. Use of force, physical contact, verbal abuse, excessive arguing with a referee, or intentionally shooting eliminated players can get you banned from the field permanently. When you know you've been marked by a paintball, loudly yell, I'm hit, I'm out, or I've been marked. Put your barrel cover on, raise your gun over your head, and quickly exit the field, repeating loudly that you're out until you are safely off the field. If you call yourself out, say hit, raise your gun over your head, you are out. Eliminated players do not talk, point, or hand off equipment while exiting the field. Be sure to ask a ref where the eliminated players congregate between sets of games once you've been eliminated. The first four players to the elimination become goggle and barrel cover monitors to ensure referees have an extra set of eyes. If you can't see or tell that you've been hit, call for a paint check. Players under a paint check are to stay where they're at, raise their marker over their head, and to continue to call paint check until a referee or the closest player can check them. If a player is not marked, they are to yell, clean and resume play. No portable shields. Do not use eliminated players or referees as shields. Do not pick up or rearrange things on the field. If you need emergency medical help, your goggles fall off while in play, or you see a life-threatening situation on the field during a game called truce. If you hear someone calling for a truce, you are to freeze where you're at and yell truce until all play stops. 
The referees will evaluate the situation and advise players on how to proceed. When the ref says, 3, 2, 1, game on, you can resume play. Players abusing a truce for tactical advantage will be eliminated from the game the truce was called in. Do not pick up paintballs from the ground. Paintballs that have set on the ground can swell and jam your marker. Only Westworld paint is allowed to be used on Westworld recreational fields. Violators will forfeit the day's game pass. After teams are picked, colored armbands will be issued. They must be worn at all times in open sight on the left or right upper bicep. Players are not allowed to change armbands unless instructed to do so by a field ref. The boundaries are marked with rope or net. If you step out of bounds to gain a tactical advantage, you are out. No climbing on buildings, barrels, bales, or props. Keep your feet on the ground. Do not shoot our wildlife, referees, security cameras, lights, or our spectators. And never aim over the nets. Please be aware that our fields are monitored 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Intentional illegal shots will get you banned permanently. There is a clock located on the outside of the trailer visible from the staging area. When the last player comes off the field, a referee will start the 10-minute clock. Seven minutes later, the clock will reset to three minutes, and it is at this point the players should start making their way to the field for the next game. We run games back-to-back and then take a break to reload. Be sure to take enough paint for two games and drink plenty of liquids. Players must start within arm's reach of their flag base. The game starts with one long blast of the air horn or whistle and ends the same way. A five-minute warning will be issued. Game's length can vary from 10 to 20 minutes. Judges' calls are final and inarguable. Westworld has plenty of games for the recreational fields. Variations of these rules will be explained on the field before the game starts. The rules to the speedball fields are posted at the entrance to the speedball courts. The speedball fields are on a first-come, first-served basis. If there are multiple teams waiting to play, your team will play one game and then fall back into the rotation and wait for the next available slot. If there is a sanctioned tournament, all non-tournament teams must wait until it is over, then the rotation of teams will resume. Westworld allows players of all calipers to play speedball. If you are new to the sport, we recommend organizing a group of players at or near the same skill level to make up both teams. Smoking is not permitted on the field. You may smoke in the staging area only and away from others. You are responsible for all equipment you check out, so keep track of it. All players must check in at the registration booth before beginning play and check out before leaving for the day. Even if you didn't check anything out, we still have to clear your sheet. Never remove your barrel in the reception area. It is the same as removing your barrel cover. The use of alcoholic beverages or illicit drugs is strictly prohibited and will not be tolerated. This is your face mask and goggle. Notice that there are two straps on our rental goggles. The wider strap goes over your head and secures the goggle to your face. The other strap goes under your chin and is there to remind you not to lift your face mask. Your face mask should comfortably fit your head and not move when you turn your head quickly side to side. To tighten your goggle strap, pull the plastic adjusters apart. To loosen your goggle strap, reverse this process and pull them together. Your chin strap should hang loosely and just underneath your chin. To adjust your chin strap, pull the nylon webbing through the male buckle to tighten, push to loosen. Paintball field related eye injuries either happen when goggles are lifted up or removed during play and when barrel covers are removed in safe zones. Please help us avoid unnecessary injury by following Westworld's goggle and barrel cover safety standards. This is your semi-automatic marker. Never remove parts from your marker. This is your tank. Notice the gauge. 
It only fills to the three mark when it falls below the one mark. Start thinking about a refill. This is your trigger. Barrel, barrel cover, paint hopper, cocking rod, and safety. To operate your marker, put paint in your paint hopper. When you're in the fire zone, pull your cocking rod back until it clicks. If you see red on your safety, you are ready to shoot. If you break a paintball in your barrel, you need to clean it. If a referee is close by and not busy, they will help you. If a referee is not available, turn your marker upside down and pull the trigger a couple of times. This should fix the problem. If it doesn't, repeat the process until it does. Never disassemble your marker, including the air tank. Any questions?